World Remit is an online money transfer service. Our company is based around person-to-person -person payments and providing a financial link back to their country of origin without huge inconveniences to the person sending the money or the person receiving the money. We are in a highly regulated industry regardless of country or jurisdiction that you're in. Compliance is a core component of our business. The compliance changes as the volume and value of the activity you do increases, your risk increases. As you become more publicly known, you face other reputational risks. Compliance from that standpoint is, is mainly about knowing what risks are out there and explaining to everybody involved what risks are there and what we're trying to do to mitigate it. And once it's mitigated, what is your residual risk? If you don't communicate with your lines of business, you've just limited yourself to just what your compliance group can do. And as a second line of defense, that's ineffective. We need the company to understand what our responsibilities are as a company and for every line manager to understand what they can do to help mitigate the risk picture. Conversant was a very interesting tool from the first time I saw it. I had been exposed to quite a few enterprise risk management systems. Some of the biggest difficulties for those was the amount of technical expertise somebody had to have with that system and the amount of data that you had to put into it before you could get your first useful piece out of it. It caused a lot of user weariness because it could be six months to a year before you were really getting anything useful and yet for six months to a year we're asking a lot from our line partners. Conversant's emphasis on the user interface, their emphasis on you know, collecting large amounts of data but not requiring every single field to make something useful come out uh, was very intriguing to me. The lack of data limits the ability for management to make good decisions, but having the data isn't the full picture. If you can't put that in an informative way and actually make it so that disparate pieces of information are linked so that you can see where prioritization really needs to be made and where cost-effective decisions on grouping decisions together and coming up with holistic solutions, it just makes it too hard. And compliance is that complex. You're looking at every aspect of your company, including those that are coming from external sources and trying to figure out what is the priority of the day and how can you be cost effective. So a tool like this, it's not that it just pays for itself, it identifies those risks that without a analytical tool, you'd be trying to do by hand and paper and it really wouldn't be possible.